Hello, welcome to my video today. My name is Corey Heise. I'm from Canada and I live in Germany. I'm studying mechatronics and cyber physical systems. Right now I'm almost, I'm almost I'm wrapping up. I have all the classes done and, uh, and next week I'll start the thesis. But um, yeah, today I'm going to go over um, a project with MATLAB. It's from the first semester, uh, um, first semester course, or it's a course from the first semester. I uh, did it in my third semester. My first semester failed. It was tough, so uh, be aware of that. And um, yeah, second time was uh, successful, so that's good. But yeah, so first let's quickly run it. So running it. It's on the other screen here, so I'll bring it over. So we have a little bit of interface here. Um, in the final one, we have more interface, but it's kind of just not really the best for um, uh, displaying it right now. So there's two modes. Um, let's start it. So this is, let's take a sec. <clears throat> the first mode where the, the gear turns um, and the tool turns, but it stays in spot. And the other mode, which I'll show, is the gear um, doesn't move, and the tool rotates how it's supposed to rotate and around. Um, so this is a, a simulation of a gear manufacturing process, basically. So um, you can see the tool. Is cutting the chamfer, so it's, it's the manufacturing of the chamfer. So the gear is already made, you know, the envelope gear, and we're manufacturing the chamfer. And in it, there's different every year. There's like a bit different. This one was for um a, a starter motor, yeah, a starter motor in a car. So it has to be chamfered to like kind of engage it. Um, and yeah, so you can see how there's like th there's some um, inefficiencies or um, some tolerances that the gear kind of hits this one. Um, so we have to kind of <clears throat> optimize that and in, in the final, this is for December. So the first task is like make the gear, you know, and the tool or the insert, um, and then we keep, keep processing, uh, progressing on. Um, and you kind of make it more accurate towards end. And the, uh, part of the, part of the problem is that you can never get it perfect because of, you know, physical, um, constraints. You have to try to optimize it best you can um, yeah so this is this mode it's pretty good um, pretty satisfying um, to see it like this and the, you know, the cool good quality and everything and um, yeah so let's try the other mode let's see here how's my audio yeah it's okay I guess so um, yeah try the mode two Load a bit and yeah. So we see it rotates. <clears throat> so there's two um, motions of it, basically, is the rotating it and then also, so it has to kind of give a, uh, a helicoid um, shape to it. And that was part of the last task that we had to show. So let's go over the code a bit here. My computer is uh, working hard. So this, just quickly go over it. I might do a different video of, of really going over it, like how it works and everything. But this part is just a quick little UI, UI that pops, first pops up. And then this one is um, a function to, for the, um, to call the function, it's called the gear. <clears throat> and this is called the simulate function. And then this is for our insert, so just like the, the cutting piece and you know so this is all done pure MATLAB you know we have to draw every single thing like using uh, um, code to, to, to draw okay we have you know this point and we have this point and then connect them with you know a certain amount of points and draw that right and and to make the gear and then all the sharp the shapes is all done by math you know the gear math mathematics that you know have to do research on it and everything ultimately the math and and the 
is the hardest part, not really the code. I mean, once you know a bit of the syntax and you have to, you know, kind of get dig deep into the MATLAB um, programming language, which is also hard, but you have to, you, know, you can just you have to put the work in for that. Once you get past that, it's not really that hard. Or like the main project part problem is the, um, is the math, like trying to figure out and like conceptualizing and stuff. It's crazy. So anyways, um, so here we have, yeah, this is for the, the um, to make the shape of the insert, you know, all done. And <clears throat> at this point I can't remember, it's all parametrical, but I can't really remember how to change it. Like. Here's the different gear um, inputs. So anyway, so this is for the insert. You know, wait a second. Yeah. So then we have to. This is for the top. We have to connect it, and we have to rotate it, and then we make a few of them. And this is just for the shaft, which is just a circle. We have to make the. We can see. We have to make the equation of the circle. You know, and then put two of them, and then connect it. You know, it's 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 not too. Uh, Simple and then tool carrier, which again is just another circle, connecting it, and then let's see here. Um, okay, so back to gear, and this one's just lighting, and this one's <clears throat> a function we use to to connect two services. You do it so many times that we need a function to, to do it. And the rotation tool. So let's go through the gear. Um, and yeah, so you have to start out with you know, your basic inputs. You know, the, like this, let me see here. And then, uh, like reference for the pressure angle, the um, addendum coefficient factor, all those inputs. Um, again, I don't remember exactly how it goes. This is about a year ago, but um, <clears throat> every single thing is all done by you know these equations here. Fillet radius between the between the tooth. You have tooth. So yeah, this part's for the involute curve. This part's for the radius in between two teeth. And then to get the chamfer geometry, you have to we have a cylinder that's in there, and then um, plotting the cylinder. It was all done here, and then equation of a plane. So we have to like. Like the, you pick the um, plane that the chamfer is on, and then you have to in, uh, um, the intersect or the yeah the the, the intersect between the other parts of the tooth, and then so this is all here. Um, yeah, so you need to connect them, and then this is to put for every tooth, every like a loop for every um, for it to make it every tooth. And then this is um, to be able to rotate it using this these functions here. Um, applying the gear, so it's it's very very um, very complicated. And then this function calls. This so is the tool total, so it calls three inserts, or however many inserts you want, the, the shaft, and then the, the the tool carrier, like that ring that's there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> let's play it again just because it's a nice, satisfying simulation. So I'm going to show that. Put it here. So mood one, mood one, mode one. Yeah, so I like, uh, I find it's just. I mean, it, it, the, the professor suggested making, um, using lighting functions to kind of give it a nice. Better um, look or color, you know, and yeah, let's see here. Yeah, it looks nice, I'd say, and uh, this shape works, and yeah, so and yeah, you know, the timing of it too. Like you have to get so when the when the, when the gear gets bigger, when the tool gets bigger, that you have to make sure it all lines up. And I think at this phase, phase it might not have worked as well, but towards the end, we were able to get it better. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, this project was definitely. You know, one of the first times for me personally, coding that was like actually thinking about, it. okay, let's try this, you know, instead of just using tutorials all the time, but, you know, and this was a group of four, four of us, um, I'll reference them because they're all, you know, contributors and creators of the project. And, um, yeah, so it was me and another guy it was mainly developers and the, the guy, another guy and a girl that were, 
um, supportive of the research and um, like we had to you know do a lot of gear research on like the shapes of like what because just even conceptualizing it was just the tough part so yeah anyways i hope you enjoyed the video and um let me know if you have any com uh, questions about it and yeah until next time bye for now